Andy Haig here with InsulWise in Pittsburgh, and what we're going to show you today is how we remediate a mold problem in the attic of a home. Now this homeowner lives in a late 60s colonial style home, and he realized that he had mold growing on the underside of his roof deck. He did some research, found us, and now we're out here to solve this problem for him. Now, the issue with mold is that mold itself isn't the problem, it's really a symptom of a problem. The underlying problem is that there's too much moisture getting into that attic. And if you don't understand how to solve that moisture problem and eliminate it, the mold is going to come back. All the other mold remediation companies in Pittsburgh don't do that. They can just kill the mold and that's really pretty easy to do. But what we're going to do is air seal the attic deck. That's going to keep moisture from coming up into the attic from the home during the winter time. And we've also confirmed that the roof deck is tight. It's not leaking and we confirmed that there's adequate ventilation already existing in this attic. But we did have to ventilate a couple of the bathroom fans out and we're gonna show you that too. Whenever we're done with this process, to confirm that the attic has been completely isolated from the home, we're going to do what's called a zone pressure test using a blower door. And when we do that, we'll be able to determine immediately the attic has been fully air sealed, there'll be no more moisture coming up from inside the house, and that's one of the ways that we can guarantee that the mold is not going to come back. Now we're up in the homeowner's attic, and you can see here how he's got mold forming on the underside of the roof here, also down in these lower areas. Now, the roof on this house is good, and that means that the water that's coming up and condensing on the underside of the roof deck and allowing this mold to grow is actually coming up from inside the house. And the way that that happens is from stack effect driven air leakage. That means in the winter time, the homeowner turns his furnace on and as the air inside the home gets warm, it wants to rise and escape through all these little penetrations that are hidden in the attic floor beneath the insulation. Now when that water vapor comes up and hits a cold roof deck, your roof deck at that point behaves like a a cold can of uh, soda on a summer day. It starts to sweat because the water vapor condenses on it. It's below dew point temperature. Now the way that we are fixing this so that this mold never comes back when we're done is we first go through the attic and we seal all of these air leaks here. This is a top plate that's above a wall. There were leaks on both sides of it. Now over here, there's another top plate over a bedroom wall. We've sealed both sides of it with foam and you can see that how black this insulation is. That means that the air, when it was coming up from the top plate, the dust that was in the air was getting trapped in the insulation, and that's a telltale sign of air leakage. Probably have some over here too. We do, but it's tough for me to pull up because the foam has already sealed the insulation back down. Now further back down here, you can see a plumbing ventilation pipe, and we've air sealed around that. There's a wire coming up, air sealed that, and there's a few other top plates around here that we've also sealed. But um, as you can see, everything in the attic gets sealed. And what that does is it prevents warm, moist air from coming up into the space during the winter time. Now, another benefit of the, doing it this way of remediating attic mold with this process is that it's also going to make the home much more energy efficient and comfortable year round. So, Whenever we're done here, the homeowner's gonna have a much more comfortable and energy efficient home. The mold's going to be gone, and <clears throat> we also guarantee that it won't come back. The next steps of the process we'll show you here is gonna be installing a series of ventilation baffles down into the soffits around the perimeter because he does have soffit vents. And at that point, we will vent the bathroom fans out through gable vents. Then we're gonna spray for mold. Now we're gonna do our zone pressure test. We're gonna test how connected the attic is to the outside. This is a blower door. We've got the house set to about negative 50 pascals. And as long as the attic is between negative 47, negative 48 to, to negative 50, it means that the house uh, is separated from the attic and we've done a good job air sealing the attic floor. Let's go look. Okay, zone test here, this is a manometer connected to our attic hatch, and it's reading the pressure on the other side of this zone, or the other side of the, the air boundary, which is up in the attic. We've got a negative 48, it's kind of fluctuating a little bit, but um, that means negative 48, negative 49, it means that the attic is basically completely sealed from the house, and at this point we've confirmed 
that we're not going to have any additional air leakage going up from the house into the attic, which is going to bring or would, would bring moisture from the home to the attic and cause a mold problem. Now, take a quick look at this. This is our attic hatch solution. You can see that I'm standing on a rickety old attic ladder here. This is what most people have in their homes. The way that we seal this off from the house as well as insulate it is we build a box around it on all sides, put a lip in like this, put weather stripping around it, and then the foam sits right down on top of it. It's two inches thick, insulated R10, it's air sealed. It's gonna do a phenomenal job to isolate the attic from the house so you don't have heat coming down in the summer or cold in the winter. Also, it's now air sealed. We just finished spraying the underside of the roof deck with our mold killing solution. As you can see, it looks much better. There's a little bit of residual staining left, but sometimes that happens, but we know that the mold is now dead. And also as a result of air sealing the attic floor, we know that it's not going to grow back. The last step that we have here to do is to re-insulate the attic with a fresh layer of cellulose insulation. And we'll show you what that looks like when we're done. This is the attic now that it's been finished. The attic floor was fully air sealed. Ventilation measures were installed, the mold on the roof deck has been eliminated and cannot grow back, and lastly it was re-insulated with a thick blanket of cellulose insulation. If you live in the Pittsburgh area and would like InsulWise to look at your home, please give us a call.